Okay, folks. Now, today I'm going to be doing another little sunny one. The last one I've done, I enjoyed. Um, and I think the reason, the main reason, is because I live in Ireland. And this is June, and it's still bloody wet outside. Anywho, I'm going to put on a wee rudimentary drawing just along here. Right? Just the idea of where I want the odd thing to be here on there. Just a, a general drawing. Some distance there. Okay. I think I'll have a bit of a of a run along here and maybe some geezer stand a buddy there uh, let me see maybe just something to cut that and I don't want that running off the pol the, the thing I want it taking you up now he's going to be here I think I'm not sure um, hopefully looking in the direction of the sun I'll have this pointing up I don't know, I don't want the composition to be off, so I'm just going to be uh, just going to be playing with it here. Right, now, I'm just going to let that dry. Which will take all but a momento. And then I shall cover it with a warmish colour. Okay, 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 okay. Now, just... This will do. As I say, I live in uh, Ireland and I just want some sun. Just a little bit, please. Just a little bit, just so I can get a bit of a tan, get some vitamin D in me. Okay, now I don't want to let this dry too much. So I'm going to wipe a good bit of this off very shortly. Now the ground that I have down here is a gessoed ground. And uh, the surface that I'm working on, sorry, is just a gesso. <coughs> And it's been made up as a thick paste, around about a toothpaste consistency. Consistency. And uh, I've just spread it onto that. Okay? Just trow troweled it on with a palette knife. And then left little divots and stuff. So it's a, somewhat of a rough surface. I've done the same thing with the previous one. Right, so all I'm doing, going to do now is going to just lay in my darks and what have you. Okay, so let's see. Ba ba da ba ba da boo da boo 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 now that's a bit, a bit saturated, so I'm just going to green it a little tiny bit. Yes, this is the sky. Just a little bit. And put a little bit of liquid in there. And I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll hit this with the hairdryer, so give me a second. Okay. Now let's try this again. Coming in here with a bit of a... Uh, let me see where just along here ish. Um, I have no intentions of, pr of really covering up this entire surface, so I'm just I'm just going to play here for a bit. That's a bit much, a bit orange. Just going to play for a bit. Uh, I just want a nice grey. Now, again, 
same as the last pin. What I what I'm ideally after here is a nice rough finish today. Not after anything um, uh, refined on this one. Okay, now a bit more up in here. Bit more on this side, bit more orange. Just keeping that. Now on this side here, I'm going to change my brush. Um, I wanted a bit more bright, bit yellow over here. As were the, as if the sun is beginning to break through here. Let me just see, just about here. A little bit more yellow. I'll always tone it back if I think it's too much. There we go. Right, okay. Ah, that's the sky. I'm going to do the water while I have the, the color here. I'm just going to do the water. Now it's a slightly, slightly darker, a bit warmer. Maybe a bit greener. Just scraping the colors onto the brush here. So I is, so I is. Till I get what I'm after. Okay, now let me see, just along here. It may be a bit too gray for me, but for the underpainting, it'll, it'll suffice. Okay, along here. -ish. And a bit, bit brighter up along the, the top of it here, but, but not much, just, just a bit along down here. Okay. Lovely, very nice, very good. Now, oh, I've got a little bit of white paint on one of my brushes that it was a clean brush. I was keeping it clean on purpose. I'm just gonna lay in some of the darks here. Okay, and <clears throat> Keeping it dark and yeah, maybe a bit cool. Ah, no, I'll keep it warm. I'll keep the painting warm. I know that opposites attract and all of that for coolness and what have you, but I, I just want a warm painting. Just a simple warm painting. Just a oh, just to get me out. Okay, now. Of course, I'm only joking for the most part. All right. <coughs> now, you see, that's nice and thin on there. Well, allow me to put a lot of um, uh, texture in here. There we go. Now I'm just going to work on the base of the trees here. I think I'll maybe make the um, uh, yeah, a little bit cooler, maybe. And I'll use ultramarine blue to achieve that along with this green and let me just see okay I say uh, ish about here ish
just dancing this about, remembering that this is the underpainting. It's important. Now, if you were doing a la prima, you need a different mindset. You need the mindset of of needing and wanting to finish it in the one go, in the one sitting. But this isn't a la prima. This isn't what I, I, I want, I'm doing here. This is uh, just your painting. And I wait till this tacks up and dries, and then I come back and layer on another layer, and sometimes even another one on top of it. So as I get up further to the words of the, the sky here, um, I'm going to be adding in a bit more green. I'm going to be using this orange to achieve that green. With the black, maybe a bit more yellow. Especially in around the edges here. Okay. Look at that now, look at that. All right. Now, <coughs> change of brush. Change of brush. Bum -ba -da -ba. And I think just along the back here, Just keeping these wee, the wee sense of trees that are off in the distance here. Now it's probably not green enough for me, a little bit cooler as well. Yeah, it's a bit better, I think. A bit darker at the base. And I'm not going to concern myself too much with blending, even though as I'm standing there, I'm blending it. But <coughs> I don't wish to do too much of it. Right, now, give me a, a sharpish, sharpish brush. Right. I get a nice golden distance here. Okay. Let's see here now. Let me just get this in to begin with. Let's we'll see. Look at that. All right. Way off in the distance. As I come forward, it's going to be a little bit warmer, a little bit more saturated, a little bit less grey as I'm coming forward here. Dancing that brush around. I want all, oh, where's that there? I want all that texture. Now there's there's something there that just happened that whenever I first started it would have wrecked me. I went over this and I, I just noted, oh yeah, yeah, I remember I would have used to have done that and I would have like, oh no, what have I done? I've ruined the whole thing. <laughs> now you see, you just pick it up and wipe it off. I don't think there's any big deal about it anymore. It really isn't. All things are fixable in oil paints. Yeah, and, even, and that just simply means if you don't like it, wipe it off. Wipe the whole thing off. Start again. It's an easy process. It's a wonderful life lesson as well, I must say. And 
and just dancing that around, folks. Trying to keep it all nice and rough. Nice and rough. Now I'm going to be coming in with the, uh, the fan brush here before I continue doing anything else. I just want to stop and have a little look. Okay, a little bit of raw umber. Mix it in with the yellow. It gives you a lovely dull green, so it does. A little tiny bit of cerulean. And a little bit of, of blue. And maybe, maybe a bit darker. Maybe I'll put a little bit of black in it, just to darken it a touch. A good amount of, not a good amount, just make the viscosity a lot of ink. It should be fine, just, I don't really want to be very um, uh, covering here. I really don't want to cover this so much. I just want to leave a lot of little things there, which I haven't really done very much. So, let's create the texture ourselves. There we go. It has lifted, it's hard for you to see it, but it has lifted it a bit. And using the, the uh, farm brush in this direction instead of coming down, it just allows for different strokes. That's all. There is nothing special about it in that sense. Needs to thin it out a little bit. Now, I'm going to, what am I going to do, what am I going to do? Yeah, I'm going to wipe a few pieces of this off so I'm going to put in some darker areas. I'm going to use a cloth to do this, just one of those microfiber cloths. These are very good for, for removing. I just want to be able to put in some, um, uh, some of the darks here. Okay, now, <coughs> let's get in the dark. Okay, and then of course when the time comes, When the time comes, when the time comes, I will bring it down into the water and make it look more reflection-y. It is a, reflection-y is a term that us painters use, and the more experience you get, the more you'll hear that term. Swirl it, I swear it, I swear it. All right, maybe not. Let me see now, let me see now. A nice dark down in here. Okay. No. I'm just having a wee look at my composition here. And I'm okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bit of stippling. Just 
just in around the edges here just to make that gradient a little bit softer yeah and um, I'm going to bring this up a bit as well let me see this here Just up along here. I just I think it's come down a bit too far. Oh, here you go. Now I'm not happy with the shading of this, so I'm going to fix that. I'm going to fix that shading. Oh, wrong brush, wrong brush, folks. Yes, I want a bit of a... A bit of a... I think I hear a... I think I hear a bee in here or something like that. Yeah, that's a bit better. Okay, now you can see how much that black has lightened there and that's supposed to be dark and that is the nature of oil paints and that's how they work right okay so let's do this again that down into that layer of shadow there now this should not dry quite as matte and as light as the last one I think for texture purposes I'm going to use a smaller brush on this this little small textures it'll help me Establish some shapes here. Uh, I think you can barely see what I'm doing here. Yeah, you really can barely see it, but it is showing up. Oh, you'll see it in the in the the, the fixed down and um, down somewhere in the corner there in the, the finished painting. Okay. Now the shape of the water, I'm really not very keen on. But ah, I forgot about something. That's why I'm not keen on it. I had forgotten that I had removed this area here in order to close this off, and then I'll bring out a load of leaves and grasses up into it. That kind of narrows it down at the base there and it will be coming across here but that'll be done in reflections so it will so it will so it will should i bring it down a bit i think i'll bring it down a bit further just a little bit of water i don't need a lot now where's my dark brush where's my brush for my darks there we go Yeah, I, I was tempted to come down into the water bottle. I will just wait until the time is right to do such a thing. Now I'm just establishing the darker darks, just re-establishing them, I'll say. 
some, some along here and in here. Crit, not vignette. Okay. Let me see where are we here. I want to brighten this camera up a little bit for you, so that you can see, have a bit of a, a better idea. Yeah, that's not so bad. That's not so bad. You should be able to see there some of the things that I'm trying to do. Okay, now. <clears throat> All but there for this underpainting. All but there, and I'm just looking for my brush. I need to clean this off. Okay, and what I'll do. And that will give me the impression, or at least I'm looking for this to give me the impression that um, uh, the water will be, the water trail will be running up here and across. And I think I need to better define that, at least for now, for, at least for my memory whenever I come back to it. I think I'll do this now. Just as a little curve there. Just as I see that, just as a little curve, as if it's heading off into there. So let me see. Okay, I shall remove some of that. It's up at this end here. There we go. Just gently, I don't want to remove it all. Right now, what do I think of the, the far trees? I think I'm going to soften them a touch. Soften them a touch. Okay, let me see. There we go. Now look at that. That really just goes up into that. Lovely, lovely job, actually. Really softens that. Gives them, I think for me, gives them a better sense of distance there. And maybe just softening this edge here. Because we still, the whole game, or a large part of the game is edges. You gotta have your hard edges against your soft edges. <coughs> it's all part of this game. I'm just softening that in at the, the edge there. Look at that, just creating that, that sense of shade. Now, you know, I, I always have the temptation to continue. And that's the kind of, whenever I used to do it all in one go, the Alla Prima stuff, and the temptation is still there. I can feel myself not wanting to, to stop doing this. But I'm going to, because I prefer it. I know that, that I would waken up and go, ah, oh, for goodness sake, why didn't I just do it the way I normally do it? So anyway, here we are. But I think I'm going to lift this up a bit here, so I do. So where's the brush for that here? Yeah, I'm not happy with the, the line of it, so I'm, not, I'm going to lift it a bit higher. Just bring it across here. Maybe, well, just about here, I think. Okay. And then have that a bit of a sharper turn here, just up over here. Yeah, yes. Hereish. There. Right. 
So let me just see. Now that shallows that ground a little bit and makes the angle a little bit more shallower. So, <coughs> I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is just reestablish this area here. As if it's, uh, as if, make it part of this area down here. Not a little bit more dark in it. Just here. It's that idea of grasses. Get them involved. Okay. All right. Now. Boppity boop 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 boom. Okay, it is what is called the beginning, folks. It is the beginning. Well, yes, I think I think that I'm, I may be calling it a day for for now. Um, I think I will, yeah, put a little person just about here-ish, have it, I don't know, I don't know, I, either working on the grass, I don't know, maybe even put a dog there, maybe a nice wee dog running along there, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I want to soften that edge though, these edges here just... Give me a bit more options whenever I come back with these soft edges. There we go. And I might as well while I'm at it. Okay. And I think that that will basically do it for the underpainting. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't like the don't like the composition too much. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this up a little bit further, just a bit. Now, find myself messing about with this too much. I I kind of want this closed, not closed. Closed is the wrong word. I kind of want this working for me here, so I'm doing, I'm not getting it. Um, it's not sharp enough. I think, yeah, mm, okay. I think that I may have gotten it the way that I want it. A nice sharp corner there. It will, um, no, I just want to, I was only marking that, folks, so I just want to remove this here. Not entirely. 
and still will be part of its trajectory. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Now, hopefully you can kind of see what I'm at here. And if you can, do us a favor and tell me, would you? Oh. Right, so let me see. Aye, right, okay. I think I have got it. I'm not going to speak too soon, but I do think I have it. the way that I want it. Now all I'm doing is dressing up the, the surrounding area of it here. That's all I'm doing here before I, I call it a day. Because I do, by Jove, I do believe I've got it. Yes, I think that that would be about right. As you can see, the water heading up and just going straight towards the sky. And we, man, I think I, I keep going back to a wee man, so I'm probably going to put a wee man in there. I'll have him looking off towards the sun. Okay, all right, that'll do for the time being. And I'll see you all when I come back to finish this. All right, folks. So, bye for now. Okay, folks. Now, back to this one. Now, I'm enjoying doing these little, uh, little variations of these little paintings. Right, okay. Now, where am I? Oh, I need to change my glasses is where I am. Right. I am. Uh, Mentioned in the last one, I don't know which one I'll put up first, but anyway, that my drawing process is I do the drawing on a bit of paper that I want, and then I bring it over to here and I trace it here. And the reason that I trace it onto this is because I don't want pencil marks all over the, the shoe. So that's the process. Okay, now. Let me just, just put him in in a simple manner. Is all that this is happening here? I'm not after any proper refinement at this point. I will come along and do all my highlights and all my other things a little bit later. Although in saying that, I do think he's a bit dark. Only a bit, only a touch. Now, and there are other ways you can do this. You can draw it directly on the uh, the canvas. So no, I just um, not the way I want to do it. You know. No. Okay, now oh, a darker treasure type thing. 
So raw umber and ultramarine blue, just a, a little bit of oxide red, not much, a little bit of black as well, just to, to bring it down in, in tone. But I do want a reddish tint in it. Bum, bum, bum. Just a touch of mineral spurs, just to loosen the viscosity of it a little bit. Let me see where we are here. And I don't want to spend any more time on this than necessary. I don't want to be refining it. I want a nice loose looking person. Bit looser than that, loosen the viscosity just a little bit more. I'm barely touching the mineral spurts there. I just want to. Now, if I'm going to do the hot, I do want it to be a bit more refined. Don't worry about covering too many things up. You can come along and open those legs up a little bit with just putting a little bit of light into it. Okay. Now, let me see. I think maybe make. Uh, I'm going to make a certain area of them here a little bit darker. Just bringing it in as a little bit. Right, okay. Now. Now is a hot. A pretty dark hot here. I'm going to make it a kind of a a purpley shot or valid but I'm also using a lot of what was already on the brush this is a small uh, 10 by 8 drawing so it's not we're not after any detail here or at least not much. Hold on now. I think I probably need to change my brush and I'll open up a new one here. Just a, a new cheap one. It's a Da Vinci cheap one. And I'm going to put on another set of glasses on top of the glasses that I have just for a bit of magnification. I need to still, as much as it's important to be loose, you still need to see what you're doing. Ah, oh, that's not working. I just need Okay Still have to be careful because it is a small drawing, folks, you know. But you don't want. <laughs> you just don't want it to be. Um, uh, too all over the place. A little bit of looseness is good. Still want it to look right, you know. Now let me see about this little guy here. Okay, now that's him put in, in a preliminary stance for now. Okay. Right, so, let's do all the other work around him. <clears throat> now, 
I'm going to brighten this up a little bit. Okay. And let's work a little bit of up here up here. Okay, a little bit up here as well, just a touch brighter in certain areas. Now, I want to break into it a little bit. the tree area here but a little bit more than that though so uh, that's uh, get our tone right here it's a bit dark but nearly there Getting there, eh, right, folks? Just want a slight change of brush. Another one there, and another one. I'm just picking a few out for myself that I think I may use. Okay. Uh, a bit brighter. I'm just breaking all these edges. This is quite dry over here. So it allows me to scumble on some edges there. Look at that. That's that's all right now. So I'm gonna you see him over here. You're creating a bit of a highlight up in there. Creating it here too. Uh, having some silhouettes, you know, uh, some darker silhouettes there coming into the tree area. I want a definite green here too. So, ultramarine blue, blue ultramarine blue, and uh, some yellow mixed in with what I've just had here, and that'll gray it out a little bit. So let me see here now. Ah, there we go, that's a nice tone. Now look, this is quite matte looking here. That's because of the nature of the oil paint. So whenever, Whenever this dries and I put a bit of varnish on it, that would really make that pop. I might even make it pop myself today, but we'll see. I don't want to... Maybe not want to do that. We'll see. Okay. That's good. Okay, no. Now the beauty of these underpaintings is that whenever you scrape this across, it really leaves a lot of that popping through.
a lot of the background still continues to pop through and it's very very good for that a little bit darker coming into some of the tree trunks in here you see this is a little bit of negative painting what that means is and rather than painting into the rather than painting the tree trunk in I'm painting around it and creating the tree trunk that way. Okay. Uh, let's say just a bit of a thicker one here. There you see. That's nice. Okay, and trying hard not to create some sort of um. Uh, Give me a second. Trying hard not to create like a row on a row on a row, you know, a repetitive nature of things. Having a big long stretch of nothing or a little, tiny little bit and then coming along here and not, not, it doesn't all have to make sense. That's another thing too. You will read that as tree trunks and you will read the rest as gaps in the tree. Now here's a nice thick trunk here. And then just let the rest just fade there. There you get that. That gives you that sense of it being there. Right, now. small brush this time because I want to leave behind on this painting a lot of texture a lot of paint strokes and just being a little bit cautious coming up to his, the edges of him And small paint brushes can leave just tiny little marks, which gives you the opportunity, if you so wish, to leave the idea of, of texture behind. And when you scumble it over the top of a of a surface of a dry surface, it cracks and breaks as it's being pulled across. Now all I'm going to do here is gently Take the edges off it just a bit. There we go. Right, no, 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 no. Let me go work in. Now, what I want here, something slightly, slightly different. What I'm after here is I want this area to be soft, nice and, excuse me, uh, nice and blended in. And, and nice and soft and then I'll come along and put the, uh, the thing over it. So I'm looking for, this is just a really beat up old farm brush. And what I'm looking for is a particular type of highlight here. Just, just a bit more than what's down. You see, now that's a bit too bright I think. It's a bit too bright. So a little bit of blue to it, a little bit of raw umber, just to darken it, just that touch. And let me see, now I've just gone a little bit too far in darkening it. And I think that kind of should be about it. There we go. Kind of just covering this. I want little patches of it and then I'm going to work in some darks shortly and this is a can of, this is a, a definite scumble of course it is a definite scumble folks 
Okay, just scraping this on. Mm, nice and soft. And now I'm going to put in some darks and they're going to be a warm dark. Normally with such a warm thing you, you tend to put in um, uh, cooler darks but I want warm darks in this but I'm still using ultramarine blue to darken it and, I, and it is a warmer dark it's, it's still on the cool side but it's it's warmer than most darks I'll put it that way still cool but warmer than most darks compart relatively you put that side beside a warm and it'll look cool you put ultramarine blue beside a cold blue and it looks it looks warm Okay, so Now let's just work this in. And what will they use to do such a thing? A dry brush. Nice and soft, folks. Nice and soft. Not too many. You can just see the difference between the, the thing thing we jig. Um, I'm talking nonsense, so just ignore me. Okay, no. I'm going to kind of just highlight him a little bit. Just keep my mind on what I'm doing here. Very small for me, I must say. I'm not used to working this small. And really, and I can't see it properly. Right, let me see now. Getting there now. I want to do this hot, but I have to. I want to be careful. So I do. I can't see. <laughs> I need a magnifying glass. My glasses. I'll put on these other glasses. They have a, a bivocal part of them. And the reason I'm not going right in is I don't want my face right in front of it here. So I don't. They help a bit, so to do. Just a bit, though. Still hard to see. <laughs> right. Just trying to be cautious. 
of what I'm doing here. There is a very fine line very fine line between them um, uh, hold on what am, I, what am I trying to say um, there's a very fine line between doing a loose interpretation and refining it and if you miss that line it doesn't look very good As his head needs taken care of. As does my head need taken care of, isn't that right? Alright, okay. I just give him a wee stick or a wee staff or something, I think. And I think that that might do him at least for the time being. Now, where's my other small? Okay. Just something here, just a signify a little can. And the brim of his hat is a bit too. too bright in certain areas. Now you see this is the area that I'm talking about. This is moving into the, the more refined part of it and I'm, I'm going to just shade him and then I'm going to leave him. Okay. Right, I don't I don't want to make them that mistake of um, uh, working on them too much. See what are we? I just a bit of texture in the trousers here and there, and a bit of light coming through the between his legs, just a touch, just up here. I'll come back and have a wee look at him a touch later. But for now, for now that will do. Right, so now I'm going to work on the grasses here at this, at this area here properly. That should have tacked up a little bit between now and um, uh, I last worked on it, which was a few moments ago. So, but brighter. Ok, 
Okay, very good, very good. Yep. Okay. Uh, let me just create some. This is just variance is all I'm doing here, folks. Nothing more. It's creating a little bit of variance in the grasses. Now you see, there's a mistake, folks. It's not a mistake, mistake, but it's repetitive nature. It's, it's, what, it is. it's, it's what we do as human beings. We look for, and it's here, two lines just kind of converging there, like two parallel lines, and I don't want that. So always keep your eye open for that. And what did I just, I literally just put down my small fawn brush and I don't know, I can't find it. <laughs> Where is my wee, there it is. Okay. So, let's just mess up those lines a little bit. So they're not so, they're not so ordered in that sense. There we go. Right, now, now I'm just going to stand and put in a lot of little grasses and pieces here and there. Right, okay, so let me see, what brush should I use? Oh, um, uh, I used to do this years ago and I haven't done it since. But let me see, I'm going to hit, no I don't need to hit pause, I thought I'd need to, I want to see what this is like. Uh, a few years ago I used to use this little brush. It's a Studio 22 FX dagger brush, and it's a quarter inch size. And I used two years ago, load it up, and because of the, the semi-circle shape of it, the dagger shape of it, it has a bit of a semi-circle on it. I used to be able to create a lot of grasses with it quickly. And I just I haven't done it in a way, so I'm going to do it now, and we'll see. You see, look at that. He was able to just dab all this on and create lots. Uh, in fact, I'm going to continue with this one. Ah, I've darkened my paint a bit too much. Right, so let's just see. And you can use it on the, you can use the point of it like so, create lots of little things and create the, the full size of it and then use it as to drag it down or, or up, like so. That's a different wee way as to use this, this brush, but I want to knock that back a bit, I've gone a bit heavy. Okay. I'm just going for a bit of a darker brush here. Yeah, I just want the idea of these grasses here. Of looking like grasses too. A bit darker still. Now that's a perfect match to what I have down, so a bit darker still. There we go. Adding in the darker grasses is an important step too. Really does lend for it to be, um, uh, adds a bit of realism to it. Okay. Hi. 
that somewhere. Let's put in some of the later, the later grass areas. drawing it out, I want to create that half moon shape. Bit bright. Okay, now let's see if I can get this the way that I want it. I'm just going to kind of go over a lot of this, just to retouch it. Same on the other side. Maybe not so bright. Okay, now I just want to work a little bit on the on the water and add some texture in it. Not not on the water, on, on the the, uh, the reflections of the water. Just here. All right, now that's a bit better. No, I wish to come up in the other direction, just here. Now let me see, before I go any further, what do I think of the water? Yeah, it could be, um, I'll make it a little bit brighter in the center, just have a little bit of more Let me see here, is that? No, all right, okay. I think I'll just leave that as it is. And then I will come into it with my trusty farm brush, which I have said many times before, I'm not that keen on using. 
And don't use it very often, I must say. I probably should, you know, probably should get into using it a little bit more. All right, okay. So now, let me just, let me just see where I am here. Just creating a little bit of moss around the base of this here, just to give you the idea that that's where the plants stop growing and uh, are, are coming out of the water would be a better way to put that. Uh, a little bit of the water here. Taking a good bit off the brush, all I want to do is slightly drag this across so it breaks. and taking you up into this area up in here. Okay, now this area here I'm not too keen on. So I'm going to fix it. I'm going to, or I'm going to try and fix it. Would not be a better way to put it. Let's see. There we go. Easy fix, folks. And I want to leave a lot of that darker ditch look behind, which is what I'm doing. And just drag this up into a little bit. You get some of that uh, broken, broken grass effect. bit brighter just just around him just along here just a okay let me see this now yep quite there yet folks not quite there yet I'm not too far from it but I'm still not entirely over the moon with it but I still do need to darken the, the darks um, which we'll do via varnishing and I'll put a little bit of liquid over it whenever it has dried because it is quite matte I don't like that. Look at that big, ugly looking thing right there. Let me see. Just there, that sorts that out. It covers that up. I just want some of this, not all of it, but some of it a wee bit more defined than what I have.
All right, that, that makes it come through a bit more. Now, this area up here, I just want to, anyway, that's fading down into this, I'm not keen on that. Nope, still not there. Mm, still not there. A little bit brighter though. Probably make it a bit oxide red with some yellow. Let me see. Yeah, it's a bit better. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm happier with that. I want to put a couple of um, light areas in the, in the tree. And pokey through things, you know. That's a, a really good technical term. Pokey through things. Seriously. Okay, okay. It's not called pokey through things. You've got me. I'm just talking nonsense now. All right, so let me just get in the, the odd bright spot. And you don't want to be putting in too many of these, but they deserve their place. Okay, now just knock it back a touch, just lift it off. It does reduce it a tiny, tiny bit. Just soften it gently. And then, I think that that will do for at least for the time being. Um, again, there's another thing. Another point of it, I'm, uh, of creating, there's just a straight curve. It doesn't really happen in, um, uh, in nature. It can do, but it, uh, you know, I'm just going to break that up a little bit. There we go. And I'm having a wee look at him before I called it today, for at least for now. And I'll come back and I'll, I'll fix him up. I'll see you whenever I come back to, to sort this out. Bye for now.